This is a RHL 8.5 server and in this server, I want to install the telnet package. So for that, what I have to do, I have to go to the ISO image and I will, uh, you, you can see, this is a RHL 8.5 ISO image. I will open this and go to the upstream, go to the packages, here search for the telnet package. Now you can see, uh, talent package is available here. I need to upload this package to the VM or the server and there using RPM command I will install the package. So now I will upload the package. Upload completed. Now click. You can see uh, package is available here. Change the permission. Here is mode 755 telnet. Now install the package. Package installed, but my requirement is to configure the local repository in this server and instead of uploading the package from uh, my desktop to the VM, I need to use the YUM repository and using the local YUM repository, I will install the talent package. So friends, in this video, we will learn or we will discuss about the uh, YUM repository, how to configure a local YUM repository and how to install a package. So friends, if new, you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Also, don't skip the video, watch till end. Let's start the video. So now, uh, my talent package is installed here. I need to remove this package. So use the command rpm-qa telnet. This is the package installed. Remove the package rpm-e and package name. Now click again. RPM package is uh, removed. Now we will discuss uh, about the YUM repository. As I told, at slash etc yum.conf. This is the global configuration file for the YUM repository that is located in slash etc and file is the yum.conf. And the my repo files are located in cd slash etc yum dot repos dot d. And check here, you can see only Red Hat is present. And check what is there. You can see no repo file, no repo configured, configured here. So, what we will do? We will use the same ISO image. Uh, use the command lsblk. You can see uh, sr0 is the dvd drive which is mounted uh, into my VM. If we will go to the setting of the virtual machine go to the manage and uh, go to the setting and here you can see dbt drive is attached to the vm so that's why it is showing in the sr 0 now what we will do we will mount the dbt drive to the media iso previously yeah, it was mounted here so use the command df hyphen h command and you can see db sr 0 is mounted over the media iso now go to the path cd slash media iso we will use the upstream and base OS, uh, for the repository uh, in this vm so what is difference between the upstream and base OS? upstream contains all the packages required for the extra requirement uh, as per our requirement but base OS contains all the packages for the os requirement okay that's why telnet is a customer requirement or telnet is a package Required to check the connectivity between the servers, that's why that package is available in AppStream. I have already shown you. So now, what we'll do, we will configure the local repository. Go to the path slash etc yum.repos.d, create a uh, repo file touch rhel.repo. Please remember all repo file having the extension dot repo that's why i have created a repo file rhl dot repo edit this repo file sorry bi rhl repo now nothing is here i need to add the configuration there so i will copy these configurations Let me explain you what is DVD base OS. This is the repo ID. That is for my understanding. I have given the DVD. That means I am using the DVD as image. And this uh, repo is for the base OS. As I told you, 
TV class media ISO and then I will use both this directory for the repository one is base OS and another is upstream that's why I have here used the base OS and another is the upstream then name is the repo name the name is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 base OS the name anything you can uh, uh, write here but that name should be unique and uh, this repo ID also should be unique then dpg package one means it will check the dpg key and enable means it will enable the repo uh, that is one means uh, enable and zero means disable and here i have uh, given one that means it will enable the repo then go to the base url base url is the location from where it will fetch the packages you can see this is uh, media iso and base OS. please remember whenever you will use a physical location of the package at that time we need to uh, give file colon and triple slash here but the uh, original path is pwd if you will say you can see media iso then best stream or app OS. but in case of repo file we have to use the triple slash here okay and the gpg key path is the this one so now uh, i believe you have understood the repo configuration here I have added two repositories here, one is base OS and another is upstream. Now save the configuration file. Now yum cleaner. Now take rpm hyphen q a telnet. You can see telnet package is not installed. Now check yum list telnet. It is checking the repository and uh, from dvd upstream it is got the telnet package as i told you before that telnet package is available in upstream directory that's why from dvd upstream repository it got the telnet package now we will install the package using yum command yum install telnet now press y here then y here package successfully installed okay now check the package details you can see package is installed and if we use the i here it will show the details of the telnet package that means uh, this is the configuration uh, how you can configure a local repository in the pm and how to install a package through the local repository using the yum command so friends if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment uh, thanks for watching